Okay, we're at question 8b. Let's erase um, the work that we did earlier in question 8a. And look at question 8b. What it says is that the function f is defined as follows. You have f of x in the form a x plus h squared plus k. You must express f of x in this form where a, h, and k are constants. All right. Now, here, let's be reminded of this form of um, quadratic expression. If you have x plus h r squared, this is going to be x plus h times x plus h, all right? Which is x squared plus hx plus hx plus h squared when they multiply it out. So you have x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. All right, let's write this up here x squared plus 2hx plus 8 squared. So you have x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. Now, the expression f of x in the form this. In order to write, rewrite this in this form, right? You have to do what they call complete the square. Now, you have 4 multiplied by x squared. What you do first of all, take the 4 outside the bracket and you have, you're going to have x squared minus, now if you have 8x, leave a space, close the bracket minus 2. Now notice that if you multiply 4 by x squared, you're going to have 4x squared. Good. If you multiply 4 by 8x, you'd have 32x, not 8x. So what you need to do is divide this by 4. So that 4 times 8 over 4x gives you back 8x. What I want to do is complete the square of what is in here. Add something to make it a perfect square so it can be written in the form a x plus h. Now 8 over 4 is 2. So let me just put this as 2x. What I have inside the bracket, I keep getting these dots by accident. Alright, what I have inside the bracket is part of an of a um, quadratic expression which would look like this. What I have is x squared plus 2hx. In this case the 2h right would be negative 2 the number that multiplies x is 2h. The number that multiplies x is negative 2. So 2h would be negative 2. Plus h squared. I need to add something here to make it match the h squared. Now if 2h is negative 2, then h is what? Would be negative 1. Alright? In other words, half the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is the number that multiplies x and the number that multiplies x here is 2h half of 2h is h and then the square it so you add half the coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x is negative 2 half of negative 2 is negative 1 so i add negative 1 squared so basically let me rewrite this. It's 4x plus negative 2 times x plus negative 1 squared 
right minus 2 now the thing is I have added negative 1 squared something new is added to the equation what I need to do is take it back when I go outside of the equation all right now this negative one squared that I added is something new the equation changed I need to get back the original equation so I must subtract what I have just added if I say I subtract negative minus uh, let me write this better I subtract negative 1 squared but guess what now another issue is that what I really added to the equation was not negative 1 squared what I added inside the bracket is negative 1 squared but remember whatever is inside the bracket must be multiplied by what is outside the bracket so what I really added to the whole equation was 4 times negative 1 squared so I must subtract 4 by negative 1 squared you see that all right and then this here has h has negative 1 so it's 4 times I want to rewrite it in this form now x plus h r squared so it's x plus what is h h is negative 1 plus negative 1 r squared but instead of having x plus negative 1 I could just write x minus 1 all right so it's x minus 1 r squared all right minus no I'm ready to work this out negative 2 minus 4 by negative 1 squared negative 1 squared is 1 so it's minus 2 minus negative 1 squared is 1 4 by 1 is 4 so what I have is 4 x minus 1 r squared minus 6 okay minus 6 now in exam you wouldn't really have the time to test it but let's test it and see if there was any mistake if you multiply out this you should get back the 4x squared minus 8x let's see 4 times x minus 1 squared which is x minus 1 x minus 1 minus 6 is 4 times this is x squared minus x minus x which is minus 2x plus 1 because it's negative 1 times negative 1 minus 6 4 times that 4x squared minus 2 4 is 8x plus 4 1 4 minus 6 so it's 4 x squared so far so good minus 8x then 4 minus 6 is negative 2 right so it is correct it's work it worked out so it does work all right so let me just rewrite the answer here 4 x minus 1 squared minus 6 okay good now this is part B one let's look at part b2 and see what part b2 is going to say it says state the minimum value of f of x all right the minimum value of f of x let me just erase tab up here and rewrite the equation or the expression we we have 4x squared minus 8x minus 2 and it's equivalent to 
x minus 1 squared minus 6 okay good now the minimum value of f of x when you have the quadratic expression taking this form here there are certain things you can see here the minimum value would be negative 6 if you should plot a graph of this let's see what you would have I'm using GeoGebra nice GeoGebra let me restart GeoGebra is a good um, graphing program to install while I'm using Linux it's also available for Windows and for Android and iPhones alright so for and inside the bracket x minus 1 or squared minus 6 so 4 just to look at the the graph of it to see if the minimum value is really negative 6 x minus 2 close bracket to the power of 2 that's square minus 6 what does the graph look like? Let me maximize it. All right. You can see this part of the graph. All right. And the minimum value. It goes down to negative 6. So that's really the minimum value. All right. Let's see what else happens here. 4. And x minus 1 or squared okay good all right so the minimum value is negative 6 uh, where is my question okay good all right this is something that we were doing earlier didn't um, I didn't remove this all right so the minimum value is negative 6 once you have it in this form so generally when you have a x plus h squared plus k the minimum or maximum value would be k now what does it say what else does it say determine the equation of the axis of symmetry Right, the, the axis of symmetry of an equation like this is in the form x is equal to negative b all over 2a. Right now, we have a as 4 because the number that multiplies x squared is 4, b is negative 8, the number that multiplies x b is negative 8 so what we have here is x is equal to negative negative 8 all over 2 times 4 minus negative 8 is what is going to be 8 all over 2 4 is 8 all right so x is equal to negative b over 2a which is 1 now let's look back at our graph what we have here uh, right for the graph 4 oh why did I put 2 it's 1 my mistake it should have been one here I had put four x minus two squared instead of four x minus one squared but 
the minimum value remains at negative 6. All right, you can see it here. The minimum value is at negative 6. The thing is, what is inside the brackets here do not affect the minimum or maximum value. So it's at negative 6. Now, you didn't have to put um, look at the graph or use the x equal negative b over 2a. Just looking at this. x minus 1 squared. You can see that the axis of symmetry would be 1. Alright? 8 over 8 is 1. Let me write it. Which is 1. And you can see it. The axis of symmetry would be the line that you draw down so that you divide the curve into two equal sides. The left and right would match as the axis of symmetry. And you can see what it is here. It's 1. Now, let's play around with it a little bit more. Suppose you suppose I change the equation to 4x squared x to the power of 2 minus 8x minus 2. You see it's the same equation. Alright, they coincide. Now let's change it back to 4. Open bracket x minus 1 close bracket squared minus 6 same equation suppose it was a case where instead of minus 1 you had plus 1 you remember what would happen it jumps over here the axis of symmetry would be negative 1 all right Let's put it back as minus 1 and then change the 6. Let's change the 6 to 3. What would happen? The minimum value would now be 3. Negative 3, I mean. Instead, instead of negative 6, it's now negative 3 as you can see here. All right? Alright, so let's look at what else they are saying in this question. They say determine the equation of the axis of symmetry. So it would be x equal 1. And then you have part C. Let's leave part C for a different video. So I'll see you then.